Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve and graph uh, this compound inequality. And you can see the compound inequality is or. So it's going to be one solution or on the other. Um, me looking at our graph, our solutions should not be kind of interchanged. But when solving and graphing this, we're just going to solve each inequality separately, and then we'll go to the graphing part. Um, so to solve here, all I'm simply going to do is use my inverse operations. So I have 7x um, is greater than 18 plus 3 is going to be 15, divide by 7, divide by 7. x is equal to, oops, x is greater than 15 over 7, um, which I'm going to want to use my fraction here. Uh, so I'll do 15 divided by 7. I'm sorry, I'm going to want to use a decimal, which is like 2.14 or 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. All right, so I'm just going to use the decimal version because I think it will be a little bit easier to kind of represent and understand that when we look at a um, line graph. Now I'll go and solve this one. So again, I'm going to use my inverse operation. So I'll add 2, add 2. And I have 3x is less than or equal to 0. Divide by 3, divide by 3. x is less than or equal to 0. OK, cool. So now I have two values. I have x is greater than 2.5, or x is less than or equal to 0. So I want to make sure when I write in my um, my line graph, I want to make sure that the line graph is at least going to include 2.5 and up to 0. So I'll put 0 here, 1, 2, 3, and we'll go to negative 1 here. OK. So now what I want to do is plot my two points at 2.5, 2.15, which I'd say is maybe like right there, 2.15, and as well as a dot at 0. Those are my two solutions. Now I leave them open until I determine, are they going to be a part of the solution or not? And remember, whenever you, have an whenever you have an inequality sign that's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to pretty much means you have this line down there. That means it's going to be a part of the solution, so we shade it in. Then if it's just open, it's just greater than or less than, then we're going to leave it open. All right, now we need to determine are we going to be graphing to the left or to the right. And we can easily just go ahead to do that. We can just um, test certain numbers. So what I would do is I would just test negative 1 is less than or equal to 0. Is negative 1 less or equal to 0? True. So therefore, I'm going to shade towards where it's true. Then I would test uh, 3 for this one. Is 3 greater than 2.15? Yeah, that's true. So we shade towards the true. And again, if you just want to double check, make sure this is, let's do 1. Make sure 1 is false for each of these. Is 1 greater than 2.15? Yeah, that's false. Is 1 less or equal to 0? Yeah, that's false. So since it's false for both of them, we know there's no solutions uh, in between those two points. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Also make sure that notice that this one is filled in. This one is open because of the inequality sign. But that is how you uh, solve as well as graph a compound inequality. Thanks.